Rick Daddy here with Rice Boy TV. We're here in downtown Long Beach getting ready for the 2008 Spocom show. I don't know what the hell I'm doing out here. Let's go inside. I managed to get past security and show up late enough for the rest of the Rice Boys to set up our booth. I'm just gonna hang out the rest of the day, eat some nachos, drink some beer, maybe have a hot dog, chill. We're here with uh, Eugenie Nose and Jeff Louie from ProMotion Distributing. They're actually the godfathers of the Spocom show. What is ProMotion Distributing? ProMotion Distributing is all about the dealers. Uh, we have over 4,000 accounts across the United huh. States. I'm sorry, I thought you said uh, 4,000. Yeah, 4,000. Oh my goodness. We've been doing this for a minute. We've been doing it for 20 years now. Okay, now what leads you into doing Spocom? Who do you guys think you are, SEMA? I'm just kidding. I kid because I love. You know, John, in our humble opinion, we're better than SEMA. Oh. We love you, Seema. We love you, Seema. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's because we, we try to really touch the people that really, we think, influence this industry. It was losing touch with the people out there. It was losing touch with the car show competitors, the manufacturers, and we wanted to be the conduit between everyone. What was different for this, this edition than what you did for last year, for the first, for the first one? Uh, first off, we had more manufacturers this year, which is great. 250 amazing show cars were here at Spocom this year. We pre-screened a lot of them and that's why you have the high level that we do today. As you know, the, uh, the trophies that we hand out are the most coveted in any show. I came up with this idea where I wanted it to be the most coveted trophy in the whole industry because I wanted like an Oscar. You know, when everyone sees it as an Oscar, they know it's an Oscar. Who's doing these trophies for you? Oh, Five Axis, Troy from Five Axis. But it's really, this show is really meant for the dealers because the dealers, they get one-on-one -on -one time with, with the manufacturers. Secondly, we added, uh, added in some more entertainment. We added in the dance competition, which is, which is great. A bikini contest, which we didn't have last year. We at Spocom brought over 50 of the hottest import models in the industry. Probably all together at Spocom, we had probably about 150 models. Hi, this is Melissa Gutierrez, and you're watching RiceBoyTV.com. Yo, Mel. Hey. All right, so whether they want to admit it or not, a lot of guys fix up their cars just to pick up chicks. Mm -hmm. And you're a hot girl, so why don't we go down and see what cars you like and which cars you don't. Okay, sounds Let's go. good. Well, I like this one. This one grabs attention. The color, the midnight blue with the little bit of shine to it. And it's a hot car. The spoiler makes it. What about that car right here? Uh, not my favorite. I don't know. It's just too small. It's too compact. I want something I have some room in. The back seat. What about the BMW? I know you like BMWs. I like the BMW and the color just pops. It's so electric blue, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. Grab the tension and it'll go fast, which I like going fast. Would you date this guy? Definitely. Hi, my name is Candy, and the next event I'll be at is the Red Line Time Attack at California Speedway July 19th and 20th. I hope to see you guys there. Rice Boy TV rocks. We're standing in front of one of the cars from the next Fast and Furious movie. It's a Super WRX STI. Uh, we hear Paul Walker's driving it. We don't know much about it. This man does. This is Ray Fong from Valeside. He's going to tell us all about the ride. Universal came to us back in January and they told us, hey, we've got a car that needs a body kit. And uh, they told us it's a brand new Subaru STI, which hasn't even been introduced in North America at the time. So say, hey, we'll provide you a car, but we need you to make a kit. Said, so, no problem. Well, we had two weeks to make it. So we uh, added a new front bumper, new hood, roof scoop, uh, side skirts, and rear bumper and rear wing and uh, we haven't even yet to put the actual kit into production. So this is pretty much the only prototype that exists out there. Just for the record, that rear scoop was not our idea. What's up everybody, I'm Amanda Geft, and whenever I'm not doing CPR and interns, I'm here in Long Beach at the Spocom Skunk2.com booth, and you're watching Rice Boy TV. Dude, there's so many really cool cars here at Spocom. It was impossible for me to choose a favorite, but I finally did settle on one, and it's the 2000 Mitsubishi Mirage behind me. Dude, Archie. Tell us about this car. It's got a full Evo 8 uh, all-wheel drive swap in it. Got an Evo 4 transmission, custom-made drive shaft, two-piece from driveshaftshop.com. It's got a full Evo 5 interior, rear Evo 8 rims, converted Evo 8 Rainbow brakes, the whole nine. The car took about three years to finish, and finally I finally got to run into my daily driven car, and it's running perfect right now. All right, I don't know what the hell Junebug was talking about with his pick, but my pick of the show, this 05 Infiniti FX35 twin turbo, 537 horsepower. The owner of Vinton One's gonna tell us about it right now. It's a fully built motor, built tranny, twin turbo, two GT28, all metal wide body, custom fenders, custom bumpers, it's on airbags, 22 inch HREs, rotor up front and rear brakes, the custom house of color paint, Alpine audio, Dyne audio speakers, Zapco amps, image dynamic subs. Here we are at Spocom, Junebug picked some jacked up 
Mitsubishi something or other. Ricky picked an SUV. I got the car of the show. I got the absolute way coolest car of the show. And this is JR Rocha, and this is your car, right? Did you That's correct. Is it, is it a G35 with a G? No, it's not. It's actually a Skyline with a G35 conversion. No. Is it not? None of that. None of that. JR, tell us a little bit about your car. What actually, what we have here is a 2008 G37 that we, uh, that we built uh, with two Nismo N1 turbos. Uh, the ECU was completely done with mine, so we're running a standalone ECU. Uh, so no Mr. Feedback. Mikura actually came and tuned your car? Me, he didn't come to the U.S. to tune my car. The ECU was sent, sent to, to Japan. Japan. You sent a piece of your car to Japan to Absolutely. have it worked on? Absolutely. Sent the ECU to Japan, had it completely remapped, completely wiped out and redone so that it doesn't need a piggy bank system whatsoever to uh, run this car. The white body was done by high-end performance. Uh, ben Abutin was a designer. Let me ask you something. If I wanted to get this wide body kit for my RSX, could I buy this from High End? Would they do one for me too? High End would do a one-off kit Look for at you. That. See, I can um, get you up. can get it. You can get whatever we want done, even if it's a whatever kind of car you have. They'll be more than happy to hook you up with the new body kit. Thank you very much, Jr. Thank you, John. Hi, my name is Adriana Palacios. Welcome to 2008 Smoke Cop event. We're here with the best of show. Dennis Wang's uh, BMW 3 Series, but uh, Dennis isn't here, but um, hold on, I got his phone number, he's in Taiwan, and I'm going to call him right now, but my phone doesn't dial internationally, so cut, 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 redo, 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 okay. I have Dennis on the phone, oh yes, now, oh look at that, it's a perfect reception. Oh Dennis, you won best of show, how proud are you? Can you tell me a little bit about your car? It has a, uh, oh, an AC Schnitzer wide arrow kit on it. That's wonderful, wonderful. Wait, you're breaking up a little bit. HREs, HREs in a 199 and a 1911. Yeah. And you have a, a twin charge, one supercharger and one turbo. One, oh my goodness, that's crazy. Congratulations, Dennis, it's great talking to you. I gotta go, I'm on camera, I love you, bye. There you have it, Dennis Wang's car. We spoke to him, we spoke to the winner. No camera trickery here. What do we have to look forward to for uh, next year, for 2009? Will we be doing the show again? Will there be more Spocoms? Are you guys going to come out bigger, better, larger? The two lead people on this show is Mike Morita and Trisha. And they get a day off tomorrow. And then from there on, we're going to go ahead and start already planning for 2009. Huge. And then in the years to come, we're going to go ahead and try to make this a national show. So we're going to have different multiple locations. We look forward to seeing you guys at Spocom 2009. So I just have one more question for you guys. What's that, John? Can I get a bunch of free parts for my RSX? No. Absolutely not. This interview's over. Cool, I scored on a mic.